a Pentecost when the Spirit comes, we are all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Sitting, amen. And they appear unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And the Lord filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Turn to in verse 37. Hallelujah. Verse 37. And it read us. Now when they had heard this, they were put in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Hallelujah, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter say, said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, since ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promise is unto all, and unto your children, and unto all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words, save yourself from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly receive his word were baptized. And the same day, they will add unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continue steadfastly in the apostle doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer and fear came up on every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles of all that believe were together and other all things come on hallelujah and soul the possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need and they continue being with one accord in the temple breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord add to the church daily such as should be saved, praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord had it to the church daily such should be saved Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth your son that was crucified and was resurrected on the third day I stand before this podium as a lump of clay 
nothing except thou empower me. Except thou use these tongues of mine. Hallelujah, this part of mine. And turn Almighty God in an instrument of thine. Father, I pray today that your power will be glorified and you will be glorified. I pray that we will not leave this way as how we came today, but I pray that we will go home and trace. I pray that we will go home as agents of change. I pray, God, that we will revolutionize my day and the wider society as we leave this place today. Father, I ask you for your employment. I ask you for your dedication. I ask you for the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Baptize me afresh. If ever time I need a fresh touch, it is no honor. Last year, baptism cannot stand for today. Hallelujah, 20 years ago, baptism cannot stand for today. Father, I need a touch from my hands today. Touch your people. Touch those who are out in pass. Touch those who are cast in spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus. The police came from the Lord of all. In the name of Jesus, I declare salvation for your people in Jesus' mighty name. And the church say, We give God thanks today. Amen. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I am so glad for Pentecost. As a result of Pentecost, the church is here today. Hallelujah. As a result of Pentecost, the apostles, hallelujah, 120 men, hallelujah, were gathered in the upper room in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. They have just saw the Lord Jesus Christ ascended to heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus reassured the apostles. He said to them, I am going to my Father. But if I go to my Father, I will send you a comforter. I will not let you remain the same. Uh -huh. I will not leave you the same. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I believe that every church needs to experience again Many of our churches today, they are in the ground. Jesus and I wish you a cold on your heart. But because you are in the ground, I will speak to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of our church days today, it's not hallelujah, it's not church, has new power. Brothers and sisters, Many of our churches today, they don't believe in Pentecost. They don't believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. We will tell you that they are not fanatic. Hallelujah. So they don't believe in the hand clapping and foot stomping. And they don't believe in speaking in other tongues of the Holy Ghost. I cannot dwell 
Ghost unctionize yeah. your singing. Yeah. As a worship team, yeah. you need the Holy Ghost. When the plays a worship team, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will choose the song. The Holy Ghost will tell you when. The Holy Ghost will tell you how. But sometimes you plan your song. Sometimes you rehearse your song. But when you come to church, the Holy Ghost will tell you that change. Sing your songs and sing some the sister heart. Sunday, as much as I am in days to go through trials, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, I want to take my time today, hallelujah, for I want this church to be a Holy Ghost church, hallelujah, I said I want this church to be a lot of a Holy Ghost church, so Acts chapter 19, hallelujah, it read us, and it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having to pass through the upper course, came to Ephesus, finding certain disciples, hallelujah, he said unto them, have ye received the Holy Ghost since he believe? They say unto said unto him, We have not so much heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Ah, it, it, it's, it's a bad thing, Pastor. It, it, it's a bad thing, Evangelist. It's a bad thing, Deacon, to have a church and you don't mention the Holy Ghost. To have a church and the Holy Ghost is not welcome there. Hallelujah, so your Pastor Paul, he wanted to do baptism Chapter 19 of Acts, the 
that they are put by the baptism of the Holy Ghost. John baptized the people with water. So there is a watery baptism. We are baptized on the sea. We are baptized on the river. We are baptized on the people of church. Hallelujah. So that's a watery baptism. Hallelujah. Many of the believers in Christendom, they receive the water baptism. Hallelujah. But they have not received the Holy Ghost baptism. Take the name as a neighbor. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Rhetorical, rhetorical Christian, rhetorical Christian. Tell you somebody is like a neighbor. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Ah, rhetorical, rhetorical, no answer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Starting from tonight. Even we have a tree night of Holy Ghost night. Hallelujah. Tonight, Wednesday night. Hallelujah. We have a tree night of Holy Ghost revival. Hallelujah. For those who receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, I will and those who don't receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, I want you to come out. Hallelujah. You see that. I will feel it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, St. John, St. John chapter 14, hallelujah, verse 15, he let me keep my commandment, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, ah, the comforter has come, the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, he is here, amen, I will pray the Father that he will give you another comforter, and that he May abide with you forever. So I say forever. So the Holy Ghost will abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it see him not. Hallelujah, they know him. But he know him, for he dwells with you. Hallelujah, and shall be in you. He dwells with you, and shall be in you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This takes a rest to glory. Hallelujah. Jesus said, My Father and I are one. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus said, My Father and I are one. Yes. Jesus was here on earth in a fleshly manner. Yes. Hallelujah. But when he came, he came back as the Holy Ghost. Yes. He came back to dwell in you and I. He said, You and I. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we need to experience the Pentecost. Hallelujah. But what is the thing that I love about Pentecost? What is the thing that I love about Pentecost? Is that Pentecost bring about the revival. Pentecost is not for us to go around and speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a Pentecost is not for us to go around and speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Well, that is a part of Pentecost. But that is not the main purpose of Pentecost. The main purpose of Pentecost is that God sent the Holy Ghost to revolutionize the world. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost to witness the Christ. Hallelujah. As I receive the Holy Ghost to be in the witness. Yes, yes. You receive the Holy Ghost to tell Sister Nation, which is not a Christian in the Jesus, to tell my brother that Jesus saved. He keeps and he still delivers. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you cannot keep Jesus to yourself. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you can work on the Lord of your Christian. You never will do the Lord of your Christian. You church will do the Lord of your Christian. But you have to go. You are going to talk. Go ahead. 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 Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. See, the purpose of the baptism of the Holy Ghost is not to pop 
silent church of the three who are not as powerful as they can discern the voice, they can prophesy the voice, they can speak in tongues the voice, they can rub the eyes the voice. Somebody worship the Lord. So I sit there and feel the power. And God said, I 
will realize not what you ever these people imagine in their heart they will do it God said what you ever these people think I imagine they will do it so God said I am not sitting no more longer on the throne and let them be a come up here so God said let us go down and God confused the language so when God went to the work I said bring brick then bring stone then bring zinc when he said bring stick then bring mud when he said bring a block then bring a iron so they were confused so they get mad and they walk away so they say confusion to us Hallelujah, we are the church. We are the unity. We are harmony. We are the Lord. 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 Oh, <laughs> 
Sunday appendix. Suddenly, 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 when he moved, he was saying, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to hear. Suddenly, suddenly, when he was trying to hear. Oh, so 
of this. They could not have it. They did not have a TV. Hallelujah. But that same day, she goes on. Convert to Christianity. And as they go on, 5,000. The third day, the numbers started to escalate the world. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, are you in the for Christ? Have you ever been sorry for Christ since you baptize? Do you need anyone to the Lord? Hallelujah. Since you baptize and so you are Christian, have you need somebody to the Lord? And I am so approved today for a new person baptized and I serve God. Hallelujah. Have you? Have you? Have you seen a soul for the kingdom? This is all what the gospel about serves. The gospel is about. I tell and they tell his brother about Jesus. His brother went and told somebody as a call will make the man the Messiah. Are you telling anybody about Jesus? Are you really and truly a Christian? Or do you know that you are a Christian? Do you really and truly see him and really and truly born again? Oh, we will go to the real and truly see him and we are truly born again. Hallelujah. Are you still have one to be in the church and one in the world so you cannot impact the world? Amen. Brothers and sisters, the main purpose of the church is to win the house of many Life to declare Jesus. Hallelujah. It cost Paul. Hallelujah. His life to declare Jesus. It cost people his head to declare Jesus. It cost James his head to declare Jesus. The Lord of the Holy Spirit. that John will not die none at all. Jesus said, what is that to you? Hallelujah. But Jesus fulfilled his word while they put him in a pot of hide. They took him and they hired a Patmos. And then they hired a Patmos. We get the book of Revelation. For Jesus took him into the heavens and showed the end time revelation. What will take place in the end time? Brothers and sisters, Pentecost is a time when the church come alive and witness 